Hello everyone, I'm Gogi from Gogi.in and uh, you're watching the review of uh, Wicked Leaks Wami 1. This is another octa core powered smartphone. Let's have a quick look at the specifications as mentioned on the box. It is powered by 1.4 GHz MediaTek octa core processor, comes with 1GB RAM, 8GB internal storage, sports a 5 inch screen with QHD that's 960 by 540 pixels resolution. There is 8MP rear camera, 5MP front camera and battery is 2800mAh. Inside the box you'll find the handset, the Wami 1 with golden and white color combination with fully laminated screen, 2800mAh battery, a free flip cover, it's of a good quality, a plastic case for added protection for the back panel, travel charger, data cable, user manual and earphone. The call button and the mic is pretty big and here is a closer look at the earplug. And here is the handset, the Wami One. The golden white color combination gives a royal look to the handset, build quality and the finishing is good. The handset is slightly curved on the sides. The rear side is white color with matte finish and the front is glossy white. Three touch sensitive buttons on the front bottom. On the top you'll find the in-call speaker, sensors and the front 5MP camera. The 3.5mm audio jack and the micro USB port is placed on the top. There is a mic at the bottom and power and volume rockers are placed on the left side. On the rear side there is the speaker out vent along with the Wicked Leak logo, 8 megapixel camera, LED flash and a mic. The sides are golden color and it gets cut off giving a very unique look to the handset. There is this gap on the left and the right side. The top and the bottom is slightly curved. And now let's open up the handset. The back cover is a little flexible made up of plastic. It's a dual sim handset you need two micro sims and both the sim slots support 3G. And this is the micro SD card slot. The weight with battery is 133 grams, it is 7.83 mm thick, the breadth is 71.07 and the length is 145.81 mm. Let's power on, this answer is running Android KitKat and the company has mentioned that it will get the lollipop update. 3G works on both the sims. Color reproduction is good, touch is smooth and responsive. The navigation buttons, they do not light up. Viewing angles are good, you can see the fonts and the icons from many angles. Native video calling is supported. And this is how the phone dialer looks. This is running stock Android. Let's go to the settings. Air gestures are supported and it also supports gesture wake and here are the different options. Let's try this. The screen is off, double tap to switch on the screen. And you can also draw on the screen. For example, C to load the contacts directly. Of the 8GB, 5GB is allocated as internal storage and you get 1.1GB free for apps. And of the 1GB RAM, you get around 606MB free on the first boot. There is built-in GPS. There is no Hindi language option in language settings. I have connected an OTG pen drive and yes, OTG is supported. The handset does come with a factory fitted screen guard. Let's check out the system information. This handset is using MediaTek MT6592 chipset clocked at 1.4 GHz. It's octa-core with Mali 450MP GPU. It's running Android 4.4.2 over a 5-inch screen with 960 by 540 pixels resolution. And here are the sensors. There are three sensors. Magnetic sensor doesn't seem to be working. There is accelerometer proximity and light. I have loaded a Compass app and uh, as you can see, there is no magnetic sensor. The time is 619, battery at 84% and the temperature at 23 degrees. Quadrant benchmark score is 11545. Antutu score 3D benchmark. There is a very mild lag. Antutu score is 27696. Vilamo Metal 774 Multi Core 1316 Browser 2062. Nina Mark 2 is at 47.0 FPS. And this handset supports 5 point multi touch. 
Let's check out the camera. This is with an autofocus camera. Voice capture, face detection, smile shot, HDR are supported. The rear camera is 8 megapixel. This is 8 megapixel in 4 is to 3 aspect ratio. In full screen mode, you can shoot in 6 megapixel resolution. The rear camera can shoot full HD videos and the front camera is 5 megapixel. I am recording this video and this video got recorded in 1080p at 16 frames per second. After 25 minutes, the battery dropped by 11% and the temperature is 24 degrees. There seems to be some problem with the temperature reading, so we'll ignore that. I am playing this video in a loop with Wi-Fi on and brightness set to the maximum. And after 23 minutes, the battery dropped by 15% and the temperature is... We'll ignore that. The handset is a bit warm. Let's uh, play some games. Asphalt 8, set to the highest visual quality. This game got installed on the internal storage. The gameplay is pretty smooth as you can see. And now let's move on to Modern Combat 5. This game also got installed on the internal storage. This game also played really well. I did not find any issues. I played these games for about 21 minutes, the battery dropped by 11% and the handset is a bit warm, it's not very hot. The Wicked League Whammy 1 is powered by 1.4GHz Octa-Core processor, it's running Android KitKat and it will get the Android Lollipop update. There is 1GB RAM, 8GB internal storage. Screen is 5 inches with QHD 960 by 540 pixels resolution. The battery backup is about uh, 3 to 4 hours. And this is how the handset looks with the flip cover. It's a non-magnetic flip cover. The screen will not switch on automatically. You need to do it manually. This handset is priced at Rs. 8,490. Micromax Eureka seems a better option than this, including the price. Visit my website to check sample images and videos. And if you like this video, do hit the like button and don't forget to share.